Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, my name is Amr Ali. I'm the Director of Student Affairs at Granada Islamic School. I wish so, yeah, we're at Granada Islamic School. This is my ninth year. Um, my two children have gone through this school, so it's a, uh, a beloved place for us as a family. Um, inshallah, I'll try to share with you a little bit. So the mission statement is, the mission of Granada is to provide quality academic and Islamic education in a community that nurtures a strong Muslim identity, fosters brotherhood, and strengthens moral character. And that fostering the Muslim identity is probably the biggest thing that any Islamic school strives for, uh, aside from the academics. That brotherhood, that sisterhood, our, our children's friends are still their friends from Granada who they grew up with. So it really, really strengthens and lets them know who they are. It helps them identify as a strong Muslim um, American. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, there we go. So uh, just like the Esslers, we have slow school-wide learning outcomes that try to uphold our mission statement. And we start with our first one is to develop the love and rever reverence for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That should be the, uh, that, that's our, our, our priority to be academically distinguished, to be socially well-rounded, and to have a sense of physical well-being that helps um, strengthen all the previous slows. Our school history, a little bit about it. So we are 35 years strong, alhamdulillah. This is our 30th, fifth year in operation. We moved to what is MCA in 1994. Um, our student enrollment, we are permitted for 490. We are capped last, just like, you know, every other school, we had students last, last week just testing to get on the wait list. So, wallahi, from the bottom of our hearts, may Allah put barakah in all these schools so we can expand to give quality education to more students, inshallah. Say ameen. Uh, serving, pre we serve preschool through high school till 12th grade. Our average class is 22. We've been WASC accredited Western Association of Schools and Colleges for the past 23 years. We just recently went through our last cycle. Last year, alhamdulillah, we're granted another uh, six years of accreditation. And accreditation really helps us just keep evolving, helps us, holds us accountable to what we say we wanna do, where we wanna go. So it's a really neat process for the entire school to get involved in because it really gets us to ideate and to see where we've been and where we need to go. It's, a, it's, a, it's tedious, but definitely worth it. Um, our academic program, I'm not gonna go too much into this. Uh, our core subjects take about 60% of the time. Islamic education is 30% and electives are 10%. And once again, all of these work together to uphold our school-wide learning outcomes. Um, our Islamic identity is honestly our core uh, value. It's something that we, in every single class, make sure we are trying to strengthen in the, in the kids, whether we're mentoring them, whether we're talking to them about science or Islamic studies, whether we're praying with them and giving the siha afterwards. We change the Ramadan schedule to shorten it so they have more time for ibadah. Everything we do at the school, just like we do in our homes, revolves around their deen. And it really makes it easy for them to then understand and then inshallah live it outside of the school. On World Hijab Day, we make a big deal. We have an assembly around it to make sure that we as Muslim women and Muslim young women are un understanding the, the importance and the beauty of the hijab, but also young men are understanding the importance and the beauty of the hijab and their role in protecting them. High school, sorry if I'm going a little fast, I'm trying to be respectful of the time a little bit, but our high school uh, is our newest program, it's our baby. Um, it would have been eight years now. Uh, alhamdulillah, we started with eight students in ninth grade, and we have 56 students now, and some on the wait list just because we need to send them over to Veroes, inshallah, because we just don't have the room. Um, do we, we, we partner with Mission College, it's our local junior college, uh, in Santa Clara, where our students take dual enrollment classes starting in their sophomore year. And alhamdulillah, like, call, our students now, our very first graduating students are now, have graduated college. U of Penn, one is uh, doing her um, f um, PhD in physics at University of uh, Washington. So it's really neat to see them go from your students to your friends, where they're coming back and still, still trying to meet and hang out with us. We have one student at Zaytuna College, Inshallah, she'll be coming back to this year partnering with, partnering with us to speak to our students. 
technology in the classroom. We all are in Silicon Valley, so alhamdulillah, we try to keep up with as much technology as we can without it taking over like it has. But alhamdulillah, we, you know, every, every child has access to whether K through second is an iPad uh, and up Chromebooks, TVs in the classrooms to make education a little bit easier for the teachers and for the students. So we try to keep evolving, alhamdulillah, throughout the, uh, throughout the times to make sure students are having a better education, but also teachers are able to deliver a better, better education. Student activities, this is my forte. This is where I feel passionate about. I help manage uh, a lot of the activities uh, at the school, so I'm excited about these slides. Um, thanks to Fahim and Hazem, we, uh, all of us enjoyed competitive sports. I don't know, how many years ago was that? Uh, no, more than five, man. Is it more than five? But Michelle, they started, some may reward you guys and your families. They t dedicated a long time a lot of time to, uh, to starting competitive sports for Islamic schools. So we've been uh, actively involved with them and it's a big part of our school culture now. Our high school is registered with the California Interscholastic Federation. So right now, because of our small student body, we just have uh, basketball for girls and boys, uh, girls volleyball and cross country for girls and boys. Student government, we try to get as much, the students involved as much as we can. So we have a middle school student government that helps lead elementary and middle school, and we have a high school, gov a school student government that just leads high school and, and partners with the middle school. And they work on community service projects, spirit days, STEAM night is one of our big activities. Unfortunately, we don't have the capacity to open to the public yet, but inshallah one day we can. It's, a, it's an amazing night. But they help me run all of these programs. And what you realize is, if you want the kids to learn and to lead, you have to let them lead. And it makes your job a lot easier. I, you cannot be everywhere at, at one time, so my high school council be, gets zones to lead. And uh, honestly, they do a better job than me. And uh, I hope that, inshallah, one day they take this spot and, and, and do better, inshallah, in it. Um, we have partnered with Second Harvest Food Bank this year, so all of our uh, school all of our middle school and high school will be partner working with them on a monthly basis. And then once again, they help us do uh, assemblies and activities for the school. Uh, for our educational overnight experiences, fifth grade and up go on an overnight. We are raising you know, American Muslims and it's in order for them to really experience their faith and express it, it's important to honestly get out of the environment. And that's when you realize when they're praying in front of all other schools and they're proud of it with their hijab, they realize it's, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful. So we start going out on overnight experiences from fifth grade on. Um, probably my favorite was going to Morocco with Give Light and working with the, the orphanage, alhamdulillah, for a couple weeks with our senior project. But on the side, the purpose is our hands-on education, team building, personal growth, new experiences, problem solving, building resilience. So it's a, it's a really good opportunity, alhamdulillah. Um, for the, my last slide, I think this is also probably the biggest service that we can give our kids is mental uh, wellness and social emotional growth. Uh, we, can, we know our kids go through a lot of things, you know, as they're growing up as Muslims. There's a lot of things we can't do as, as Muslims. And, and we're like, why? And, and it kind of builds some conflict sometimes with them. So it's important to be patient. We partnered with uh, Cleal Center for a few years. And alhamdulillah, they always gave us a great uh, counselor to work with our students. And uh, alhamdulillah, this last year, we were actually able to onboard uh, our own counselor as a staff member. So Sister Rouge comes and does theme-based education with self-care, emotional regulation, communication, communal responsibility, and transitions. She does sessions for classrooms, sessions for staff and parents, and then individual and group counseling. So, you know, uh, alhamdulillah, this is, this is great. But I'm gonna also say one more thing, that schools need families to also do their part. It's, it's definitely a partnership from our end with, with parents, and the first education comes at home so make sure then, shallow wherever you decide, whether it's homeschool or whatever it is, establish all of these things, establish your school, your home learning outcomes that you want, your goals, because they really do stem, like trickle over into all aspects of life. 
mentors. Kids will do well when they have mentors in every aspect of their life. So inshallah, it starts with parents, it starts with siblings to younger. So inshallah, we all can uh, be a community and help our kids. Jazakum Allah khair. Jazakum Allah khair. Thank you so much.